Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm AST and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I do one of my absolutely favorite things to do when I work on the front end of any application and that is how to add dynamic theme switching so that users can change between light and dark mode. I will be using Angular version 17 and for two out of the three ways that I'm going to show you I will be using Angular signals. So if you're interested keep on watching. In this video I'm going to show you the option of changing the theme dynamically using Angular version 17 and using Angular material and I have been using this a lot for a lot of my apps. The difference is that before I was using behavior subject this time I will be using signals and I'm going to go over the pros and cons very quickly. So the pros are that you can use the predefined global styles that are provided by Angular material UI. You can use signals and the cons there really aren't any cons. I have been using this for a lot of my apps where I'm changing the theme dynamically. I have been doing it primarily with Angular material. The first thing that I need to do is go into my designated folder in my local machine. I have opened up um, git bash terminal over here and I'm going to create a new Angular version 17 app with ng new angular v17 theme and I'm gonna just say angular material because I don't want to make it too long signals. Now of course you can name your app whatever you like. I am naming it like this because I'm going to be adding it to the public repo where you can have a look at the code and use some of the styling that I'm applying if you like it but mostly have a look at the service and things that I will be doing over here. And I like to start all my apps by setting the style, style to SCSS. So ng new angular version 17 theme angular material signals and let's create the app. And now that I have my app created I am going to open it in Visual Studio Code by code and dot. So going in the correct app which is theme angular material I'm gonna go and open up an uh, integrated terminal and I'm gonna generate one component. I'll keep it very simple, only generate components that are relevant to what I'm doing. So ng generate components and it's gonna be in components folder. It's gonna be called header because I really only need header and a little bit of styling for this. Okay, components and header. Git commit and push this up. What I'm gonna do over here is cd into the correct folder for this project, Angular and Signals, and I'm gonna add Angular material. ng add at Angular material. Okay, proceed. I'm gonna select the theme. I usually go with the purple and I'm gonna go yes to everything else. What is preferred to do, and this is the Angular Material way, it can work with just style CSS, but I am just so used to doing it. I create another file which I call theme CSS. Theme CSS, I'm just gonna copy the code that I have from another app because again I have been doing this quite a lot so I have the code already from different apps where I have been using it. Basically what the code does is it is connecting to the predefined styles that are provided by Angular Material. Specifically I'm adding styles for the dark mode, the dark class and of course I can add more styles to the light theme if I want to but all I am doing so far is just connecting to the predefined styles. I haven't written my own styles yet. I mean I usually do add more but I don't have to because they, they provide quite a lot already. To use those styles now the theme CSS file has to be added in angular.json so I'm just gonna search for styles and over here where I have styles scss I'm just gonna add theme scss and I have it twice so let's find the second one which is over here 
Now I'm gonna go and add things to the header component and I'm gonna also need to use the Let's open it to the side. Uh, header component, yes, because I'm gonna import some Angular Material components. Going to Angular Material, checking my version, going to Components, and I'm gonna use a toolbar, just the basic toolbar. But first of all, I need to import it. I'm gonna import it in Header Component. So over here, Toolbar module and add it to Import. I'm probably gonna need to add a few more like buttons and icons, but let's just do it one by one. Examples, I'm gonna grab the code here, format toolbar, and I'm gonna replace what I got over here. So since there are buttons and icons and in order for everything to appear right and to work, I'm gonna need to import buttons and icons. Let's find them. Button, API, Mad button module. Let's get it over here. Okay. Button modules, and I'm gonna have to go into icon import icon module. Still, again, I'm importing it in version 17 in the component directly, which is header component in the case and now let's see what I have over here is I have a lot of classes which I don't actually need I'm gonna get rid of them for each button I don't need this second button I don't need a spacer and over here I'm gonna remove the classes also I'm gonna go into the app component I'm going to erase everything that is over here and I'm going to create a wrapper div which is going to have a class of dark for now. And I'm going to um, want to display my header component but in order to display it I need to import it also. So let's just go over here in app component TS header Header components. Okay, import it and now I can add it. App header. Now I would like to run the app and see um, the progress so far. So npm install and npm start. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. Okay, my app and you can see that the dark theme is actually already taken effect because I set it in app components. It's already dark. I like to set it as dark anyways, but yeah. So what I need to do is create a service. I'm going to open up an integrated terminal and I'm going to ng generate service, which is going to be in a folder services and it's going to be called theme service. Open up theme service and now I don't need a constructor but here I need to set up my signal which is gonna be in signal which is gonna be a signal of type string and it's going to be set initially to dark which is what I prefer to set it initially to. I know it always suggests to put it light but I like to set it to dark initially. Uh, imports okay so we got the signal imported over here what I need to do is I need to set the theme first which is gonna be a string it's gonna be this dot theme signal but here is set theme okay and now I need another function here which is gonna be update theme is again theme of type string and this signal updates okay so it's gonna be this theme signal update but over here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the value of it and I'm gonna uh, add a ternary operator so it's gonna be um, 
value if the value okay yeah yeah actually if the value is dark it's gonna set it to light okay it actually got it from the first time over here so yeah i'm going to get the value of the signal and then i'm going to use a ternary operator to check if it's dark then set it to light and if not it's gonna be dark so let's format this document a little bit yep so update theme doesn't actually take any parameter now with the theme service created i'm gonna go back into app component ts and i'm gonna need to inject it over here so i can use it so let's go theme theme service it's not gonna be type any it's gonna be type of my theme service and it's going to be injected inject theme service okay with theme service injected in app component, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm gonna go into app component HTML and I'm gonna replace the class that I have over here with ng class, which is going to be connecting to the theme signal. And it's going to be theme service, theme service dot theme signal. Let's connect to it, okay. Like that so now i'm gonna go back to the header component because i need to add a few more things and i of course i need to inject the theme service in the header component as well but first let's just add a few more angular material components and i'm actually gonna change the styles a little bit i'm gonna use uh, styles again i'm gonna copy them from styles that i have before okay just to spread things a little bit better what i want to replace this icon here with is a slight toggle provided by angular material which is pretty cool so i'm going to import it in the header component okay i'm not going to be rearranging my imports this time i usually go by size but for now i'm just going to leave it like that and grab the code from the overview gonna create a new element with class theme control and I'm gonna add the uh, let's say goes after just need the toggle the slide toggle itself okay now the share icon I think is gonna be bit time I think that there was the moon one yep there was the moon one I need the mat toggle actually to be checked because we have the dark theme on. I'm gonna go into header component TS and I'm gonna inject the theme service. After I have theme service, inject theme service. Okay, so let's add in all the missing imports. Okay, I want to add a new control flow conditional rendering with the if and um, just do it like that. Now I can add an else statement. I'm gonna start with bedtime in here the second one i think it was brightness seven or something like that in here the conditional is going to be just like i did it in the app component so theme service theme signal okay and um i'm missing get over here okay so theme service, theme signal, otherwise it's gonna be brightness seven. And for that to work, I need a click event. So I'm gonna go and define it in header component TS. Yes, this one is going to be called toggle theme. And I need to add the click event to mat slide toggle. And that is going to be my toggle theme. Okay, let's have a look now. 
okay it is working it is changing the color of the theme I'm not happy with this icon though I think I'm gonna go with brightness 5 let's see this be a bit better yeah yeah I prefer this one I'm gonna add content in the content inside there going to app component CSS and I'm gonna add in content I'm just gonna add a mean mean height of let's say whatever something just so we can have some more substance over here and yeah there we go now it's even more obvious that it works and it's picking up my styles that are defined and of course a lot more can be added angular material has a lot of components that can be added but that is the basic setup for the app you can have a look at the other options that i'm showing to changing the theme using angular version 17 you can have a look at the rest of the videos on my youtube channel a lot of them are angular related thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye for now